shocking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Shocking, very, very shocking things are happening. You will not begin to imagine what exactly is going on. My people, hmm, you'll be surprised how we got here in the first place. More revelations are coming. Don't be deceived. Rafael Sini reveals reason. PZ is leaving Nigeria. When I was young, we used to buy PZ, uh, you know, cream, everything, PZ, Vaseline here and there. This company is leaving Nigeria. And what does that tell you? We are trying to create a job to get more people out of unemployment. What we are seeing is more people are going into, going into, you know, uh, going out of job. And that will lead to what more stress in the economy. Because when people are not economically empowered, what happens? So these are some of the issues and some of the matters that are ongoing. And we really need to ask God for mercy for this country. Because honestly, I cannot tell you where this country is headed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Don't be deceived. Rufa Hosseini reveal reason why PZ is leaving Nigeria. The Arise TV anchor Rufa Hosseini has given reasons behind the pharmaceutical company and other decisions to delist from Nigeria. In the post shared on his ex platform on Saturday, December the 9th, Rufa Hosseini disclosed that his source claimed PZ are delist, delisting because of Nigeria's economic crisis. According to him, PZ invested over $300 million in 2016, and suddenly in 2023, they are leaving. They are leaving. He noted that this is due to challenges and that and that things are really bad with the country's economy. The award-winning journalist warned that more revelations are coming and people should stop letting themselves to be deceived. Before PZ made this known, its position to delist, I already had information from sources they are delisting due to economic issues in Nigeria. In 2016, they invested a whole $300 million in expansion in Nigeria, by 2023, they are leaving, which shows that they have challenges. If a company that have invested $300 million, all of a sudden, less than 10 years, they are leaving you. You should know that things are really bad and they made nothing out of their invest investment. Stop, loving, stop, stop letting these people deceive you on what is going on and how they are doing one thing or the other, going to bring investors. Nobody is coming. Because the people do not even trust the leaders you have. More shocking revelations will be unveiled. Some citizens took their comment to the se comment session to share their thoughts. Some says challenges that has been managed, but not anymore. It is glaring that Nigeria is heavily indebted on Forex for every pain in the line of production. So that so they rather go elsewhere, like P and G to Ghana or Egypt. Nigerians are being pushed to the wall and soon as it will be evident. Another person says, when the head is headless, without sense, the body will be useless. Home-based businesses folded up because you keep begging the ones outside to come invest. Does it make sense? This is heartbreaking. The suffering has just started. Another one said, he said, he would reduce their purchasing power. That's what Tinobu said. We produce you that video and it will slow down the economy. He said he was, and he's, he's doing exactly that. So people don't buy things. How will PZ want to stay? Another person said, doing business in Nigeria is challenging. Another one said, Nigeria for sure. Bad economy policy disturbing our progress. Another person said, many companies are folding up. But not just in Nigeria. The world economy downturn is affecting companies all over the world. Most companies would so, won't survive, couldn't survive COVID. They invested $300 million and COVID was 2019. What do you expect? Companies are leaving Nigeria. Have nothing to do with uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Big companies don't pay to close up within six months. 
and they can go elsewhere and do anything. It's an opportunity for Nigerians to invest and make money. So this is what is happening. Everybody have their opinion. You know, Rufa Hosseini has come to tell Nigerians the true situation of things that, you know, all that glitters is no gold. People are leaving the country, investors. Um, these people invested a whole 300 million. But I'll take a cue from what the last um, the last um, person who gave a view said. Um, it may not be totally dependent on Tinobu. Let's look at it, you know, with a with a fair lens. Twenty sixteen, they invested they invested three hundred million. Yes, twenty nineteen, there was COVID. Nobody was buying anything. Shops were locked. It was only food that was selling, and even that food safe, it was God that helped us all through. It, and really, sincerely, truly speaking, let's be candid. It's not just in Nigeria that, you know, companies are having issues. This was not just in Nigeria. Even around the world, if you go to a place like the United Kingdom, you will see, you will see things, you will see some shops, some brands closing up. You know, you go to the, to the high streets, you see that some things have really folded up. So it's not just because, you know, just Nigeria, but again, the Nigerian economy and the leaders we have are not encouraging them to tell them, you know, although, although you are having challenges now, these are things we've put in place. Take, for instance, we, we sh the way we have been rated in the nations of the world are clear indications, you know, of how people, investors are seeing things. So if really, sincerely, truly speaking, we really want to come off some of these things, we'll need to do more. We need to do more. Investors are tired of hearing it go better. They want to see actions. Tinubu was outside, you know, the country trying to get people to come invest. But some, you know, you people, they're not going to tell you, say, they're not going to invest. Too. They will keep quiet. They'll be looking at you and they'll be looking at you. They won't say a word. They'll be looking at you. When they go, they'll tell you behind you, they'll say, fantastically corrupt. Of course, we saw, we saw a uh, former... Prime Minister of uh, Great Britain do that, so it's it's a normal it's a normal thing. They look at the country before they want to invest, and even if they've invested, they watch their you know they watch their investment. If now you you not go do the same, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.